you know, I've played this game before, but the rules were like whatever passage you read meant how good you were in bed or something. Oh, oh, I see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm also, you know, I don't know, rebooting, you know, and I'm not in any hurry to do or say whatever, you know. I'm, it's unfortunate that I ran into you, you know, the first week I got here, because I'm still finding my feet. I mean, not, I'm, I'm glad that I did. Hi. I just wanted, um, I think that I left a little abruptly tonight and I didn't want you to feel like you screwed up or anything. I mean, I, I had a nice time. Good. I've seen your apartment. You want to see mine? Okay. It has more stuff than yours. So, uh, we've got posters. All the jazz. Um, oh, I have a cactus. Just, just the one plant. Um, I've kept it alive for like a year now, and it's longer than like any relationship that I've ever had in my entire life. But the sex is not great. <laughs> uh, books. I have a lot of books. Um, Oh, wow. Your pile and turn to a random page and I'll do it too. And what you read tells you what kind of a person you are. a motherfucker. Well, it's, 
It's not a proper book. It's where I write my lyrics. For my eyes only. Yeah, I used to sing in a band. I don't. Anyway, I got out of the habit. All right, moving on. <clears throat> you get memories of a golden age. My next break was starring alongside Jack Weissna in the popular Hercules serial. I played a mermaid who falls in love with the hero against her father's wishes. Swimming together on screen, we were the perfect couple, but the reality was a Hollywood nightmare. The water in the studio tanks was freezing and gave us all cramps. Then there was, uh, Jack. Jack didn't act the part of Hercules. He believed he was Hercules. All the women on Earth, mere mortals, created by the gods for his pleasure. After the show, he summoned me to his dressing room. Inside, he was stood, naked, posed like a classical sculpture. A shockingly well-endowed one. I ran, uh... And Hercules and his, <laughs> and his club chased me down the corridor like something out of a horror movie. Okay, that, that's a, an old library book. It falls at that part. So. Mm -hmm. I like reading about how people got famous. That's the idea. I didn't want to embarrass you. my Cinderella act, I just, I'm in a place where I'm not. Ugh. Word. Good night. miles away but you just just be there for support all right here we go okay all right here we go oh my god it's slippery mm. <laughs> shit to come out. Oh, God, it's so small, it's hard to grab. I just, I need smaller hands. Shut up, I told you, don't talk. Oh, damn it, oh, God. Okay, shh, 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 sh come here, babe. Okay. There I go. All right, all right, okay, this is it. Oh, my God. I got it. You can go now. <sighs> Isabella wants to go to sleep. 
maybe have a big glass of wine. Probably just go to sleep. <sighs> Hun, I just pulled a tooth out of our sleeping daughter's mouth. And in about six hours, I'm gonna have to wake up and go wait in the bathroom while she does a crap. Because ever since you've been gone, she started having that bathroom ghost nightmare again. <sighs> when I'm in the mood, I'll let you know. Or I'll just put on some Justin Timberlake and have a nice visit with my Hitachi. Oh, Father John Misty then. Yeah, well, I fell for you because you looked good in a suit. My vagina's superficial.
come on, you do this kind of stuff all day in the ER. You just twist and pull, come on. We could pick up where we left off the other night. I, if I remember correctly, Isabella wanted to do some things to Alex. You could hypnotize me. You'd only think of bearded men until I shave this off. You're <laughs> you are such a sucker for the rock stars. I don't get it. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a big night. What? Okay, what? Why did you let her do that? So how much is a ticket back to Texas? Well, you know, I mean, Alba loves having me there, honey. She's there to help. She's an extra pair of hands. Hey, Laura. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I, I heard. I heard you. You came to help my two girls, so I really appreciate that, Laura. Yeah, well, okay, we have, we both have important jobs, Laura, that, that's our life now, okay?
Hey. I am pissed. Are you still in bed? Well, Mama's here. She brought two suitcases, and she says she's here to help out. I didn't let her do anything. I told her she could visit and she took that as an invitation to move in. You know that's not the way it works. You can't say no to mama. Kinda. With her here, I just feel so, everything feels off. Like I'm not in control. Look, I'm running the household by myself. My husband is essentially non-existent. I mean, this doesn't count. This isn't a real relationship. And I know that this is just the way it has to be, but God, with Mama here, I just I feel like I'm a teenager again. God, David, you're not even listening. Mama, Jesus, knock. Ooh, is that David? No, I'm having a private conversation. Let me talk to him. Oh, Hi, David. Look what they did to your handsome face. You look like Daniel did in the 70s. I do worry, David. Your wife here is racist. She is. You need to be here. Okay, Mama, could you go check on Alba in the bathroom, please? Sure. Bye, David. <sighs> it's fine. I'm Aurora. I wanted Mama to be Maleficent, but she doesn't want to. Yeah, well, Mama doesn't have Angelina Jolie's cheekbones. Oh, shit. <laughs> I wanted Alba to be one of the more modern heroines, but Mama bought the costume. So. And she loves it. Oh, doesn't she look so pretty? Oh, Halloween is so important to children, and I wanted her to feel special. It's fine, Mama. Hey, why don't you go play in your room, sweetheart? Alba is fine. Look, Mama, this is a family. David is here, and he's working. He's always working. Walks in the door, and he expects me to have my best face on. Mama. You're never going to keep a man if you're keeping so opinionated. Oh. I'll run the bath. Okay. You have to be here for Thanksgiving and the recital, okay? I sent you the date. The Bureau was very insistent that we were a strong family unit. You'd think they'd want to make some effort to keep things that way. <laughs> we should frame that report with our diplomas. We're both great at taking tests. I gotta go.
Hey, baby girl. You are? Well, let me see. Come on, let me see. Oh. You are. You look amazing, Aurora. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Well, maybe Meemaw could be Maleficent. She's got the personality for it. 